All right, before we begin this uh, D'Ando commentary, I just wanted to give a little apology. Uh, this episode of D'Ando commentary, I'm actually joined by a new member of the lineup and hopefully a prosper member of the Yu-Gi-Oh! 2 Draft League Season 2, uh, Yu Neo Yugimoto. But in this video, this is the stage that my internet starts to turn to crap. Like, it, 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 it slowly turns to shit and after this video is recorded, my, pretty much my internet turns off in the next couple hours. Which is the reason why those daily duels from yesterday were uploaded today and you just got them like an hour ago. Yeah, so this was recorded while my internet was, they were turning off my internet while it was slowly turning to shit, but I wanted to keep it because it was it was a fun video for me and him, uh, it, for him and I, uh, we had a lot of fun, it was, uh, yeah, you know, but it's a long video, it, uh, you really get to know him as, as a person, as a content creator, and if you guys can please go over to his channel, check out his content, that I'd be very appreciative, but I just wanted to apologize at a time that uh, it did not turn out as great as I wanted this D'Ando commentary to be, but I just wanted to keep it because I felt like it was a really fun video from a uh, from an interaction between me and him standpoint. So uh, there you go, just a little uh, heads up. I apologize in advance. Uh, like I said, my my internet just fucked up. It just fucked up everything, and hopefully that that won't happen again. So apologize once again and uh, enjoy. All right, people, welcome back. More D'Ando commentary. So we actually have a new person joining us on the channel. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I'm Neo Yugimoto. I have a channel also on YouTube. I uh, call it the Shadow Games. You can search me up Neo Yugimoto. That's simple. Oh yeah, the link will be in the description. So you're probably wondering like, what's up with this. Uh, pretty much, I am looking for new people to join my channel. Uh, people who I feel are very diligent when it comes to their YouTube profession, and definitely Neo Yugimoto is. Uh, click that subscribe button, and my sub box has uh, been filled with some great content. So if you guys can go ahead and head over to his channel, hit that subscribe button, and check it out. You guys will be getting uh, mostly daily content. I think you upload daily, don't you? Uh, yeah, daily as much as possible. Just not this week because I've had uh, a couple of videos I've uploaded for people to watch first and give it about 50 likes. And then I'm trying to uh, post another dueling, a shadow duel up. All right. So uh, I'm not sure if you guys were actually at the live stream, but uh, the live stream this past Saturday, I took the shadow duel challenge and got the crap kicked out of me because I opened up like garbage. <laughs> 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 so I lost my soul. My soul is gone. I That's guess. right. I need to get it <laughs> you back. You have to redo me again. <laughs> get that soul back. But it, it's cool that you're uh, doing all that. Wow. Hello. Nope. <laughs> wow. So uh, uh, Junta, what the hell? <laughs> GG, easy. I'm yeah. playing with Doches and I didn't even go into a tier of Masu and then did my turn. Easy. Oh my god. <laughs> so I guess I gotta find another duel. I'm not re I'm not I'm not ending this and then doing the intro again. We'll just find another duel. Be right back. Uh, <laughs> yeah. there's, it's, to me in my opinion, that's just so weird. Numbers to see, especially name. on gaming. Yeah. Like I'm wind up forty four, like and you're not wait, you're not wind up sixty nine? Like how did you not how did you not put yeah. wind up sixty <laughs> nine? <laughs> <laughs> and then, if you're going to put a number, put something that's significant to something. That actually just looks a little bit better. Maybe 44. Maybe he is 44. He is yeah. the wind up Wait, 44. Wait, you're, you're age 44 and you're still yeah. playing Yu Gi Oh! 44 <laughs> <laughs> year old virgin playing some Yu Gi Oh! God damn. Wind 46. up 44 at 1489 and. Uh, Jalom. Legit. Okay. See, that's another one that's just like, <laughs> really? Like, why is your name this way? It's, what does that even mean? Like, I think he wants the L's in the name to almost represent borders between the names. So really, his name is Ome. Omi. No, Omel. Omel I-G-K. His name is I Scoop <laughs> because <laughs> I Scoop. Scoop. Mm, at 1326. So not extra like monarchs, just that good old fashioned domain monarchs. Just <laughs> make it so you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we have a viewer, Jill Garth. Uh, uh I really want to get like a decent duel in this <laughs> in this recording. Like people stop quitting and actually duel. Exactly. <laughs> like these so are supposed to be the this... pro players on DN. Oh, I guess you were playing Burning Abyss and that domain just hurt too much. Yeah. Mm. So, uh opened up with that tour guide, huh? Oh man! One out of forty, huh? Mm. <laughs> Damn! Mentor <laughs> yeah, guides too. Oh my God! BAs. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So obviously. It's be interesting. Ah, uh, yeah. So you're obviously gonna go into Beatrice, like if I've ever seen it. 
Yeah, or he can uh, not waste his uh, resources just yet and uh, throw out his uh, his Dante and just keep it on the field for next oh, turn. Oh, it's PK fire. Too bad you can't look into the graveyard of people's uh, in the duels while you're uh, observing it. Yeah, it's dumb. I yeah. think they do it so you don't cheat, but I don't understand how they cheat. Yeah, especially when you're already discarding or you're putting yeah, I mean, monster from battle to grave. You know, yeah, like it's you can't really cheat it. I mean, seem. the graveyard is common knowledge. So I don't understand. Common knowledge, exactly. All right, all right. Which I just I, so we got to tell you, we got to teach you about the dumb generator. All right, he opened up a tour guide, right? Yeah. Did you just see what he pitched to summon that Beatrice? Uh, no, I forget. It was Graf. Graf, okay. <laughs> like, and that's probably another one out. No? Yeah. <laughs> You're starting to see it now. <laughs> it's like, mmm, the end. Like, you need to shuffle. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! and DevPro um, apps. Those are have pretty much, like, the same thing going on. Mm-hmm. All right, got one of your serves, which is fine. So, uh, you, you're just pretty much completely against the meta, huh? Yeah. It's... <laughs> I just can't st- – really, I tell you, out of all the meta, I can't stand Monarchs because I'm just sick and tired of you being able to go down to the grocery store, drive around to your <laughs> local Walmart, buy three structure that can have a freaking meta deck. Like, and have a meta, yeah. yeah like, all my friends are like, oh, yeah, I have Monarchs, I have Monarchs, I have Monarchs. They don't have fucking crods. They don't have any shit. They just have three structure structure decks, and they can still kick the shit out of me. And, and then just ask them this. Do they actually enjoy playing Monarchs? They, they enjoy winning. <laughs> that's it that's exactly it that is why i notice people play these decks because they want to win they don't even care how they are winning like the, the entertainment value of it they're just looking to win that's it straight up and i think that ruins the whole Yu-Gi-Oh fun of even playing Yu-Gi-Oh. i think you're going to play Yu-Gi-Oh is playing it because you enjoy the deck you are using not just because it's competitive but because it's uh it's a you know a deck you enjoy using at the end of the day like all of it um, you know how some people are if you ain't winning you ain't trying so <laughs> right, and they're worried about the expectation of other players looking at them for not winning because they're using this deck that's not as top tier, uh, which is sad because it's like, why are you worried about other people's expectation on you and the game and how you enjoy playing the game, right? Mm-hmm. So it's unfortunate, man. We meet a lot of these people that are just uh, too filled with expectations from others, and they're trying to fill that expectation. So, wow, so end of 44, I mean, he just drew and then did nothing, so I guess he opened nothing. up garbage. <laughs> nothing. Is this second turn? It is second turn, isn't it? This or, is, yeah, for Buddy. Yeah, this is the turn for... I guess I'll call him GK. GK, yeah, let's go with GK. Yeah, we'll call him GK. Yeah, it's the second oh, turn for GK, so he he might be able to go for a game? Is he running piece, PSY frames, maybe? No, yeah. he's running Monarchs, remember? We already oh, saw he's running Monarchs. Yeah, you're right. There's no... So, oh, wow. Yeah, so he just opened up crap and didn't do nothing. Ah, so that's 5,000, 8,000, 6,800. So he just needs 12 more, and then that will be game. That will be an OTK. Yeah. <laughs> I love the... OTKing with Fluffles and Frifers. They're just too OP. Yeah, yeah really. You just bite your face off with that power. Yeah. I, that, uh, the Tiger, he's like... One of the best cards for Frifer I like so far. In, they in they terms need of that tiger. Field. Uh, but the sheep, also amazing, just for the sake of, of running over other people's cards that they have, with no effect, of course, that will disrupt sheep's effect. Then you're, you're, you're good, man. And that sheep is just too deadly. And, of course, you bring out Sabretooth, like, to protect them all and boost their attacks. It's, it's out of control. And you summon that wolf and go for a game. Go for the and jaguar. Wolf. <laughs> you know what, I just realized with Wolf uh, yesterday, I asked an administrator because I've never known with Wolf that uh, whenever you use X amount of materials, let's say you use two materials for it, uh, it gets two attacks per battle. I thought that only lasted literally that one turn. And do you know how many times I could have won game, like way earlier in the games, if I had just known that? <laughs> oh man, I like I beat myself up now knowing that. But, uh, fuck, what a, what a play. No, well, it's that's like wind up uh, destroyed. Yeah, that, uh, that what, tripled what? Beatrice <laughs> kicked his yeah. mouth in. <laughs> Took his name. That that that's, that's Beatrice money. for you. So, uh, if you don't like meta, then I'm not sure if I if you want to join the my little tournament that I'm going to be doing uh, coming up. I want to yeah. invite you, but <laughs> are you doing it on Shalong? What? There's a website called Chalong or Chalong, however you pronounce this, and you can literally set up a tournament with brackets, and it's all legit. 
people sign up to the website for free with their email. Uh, they give you your username. You input the username in the bracket, and then you can make it a match game, a singles game, uh, elimination game, and it automatically will do the brackets for you as each player is registered into that uh, tournament. And it's really awesome. Um, it's not a tournament like that. It's a really special kind of tournament that not a, oh. not everybody can join. Oh, okay. How, do, how does this tournament work? Okay. I, I just wanted to go one more time with the number generator. Okay. <laughs> he, he, op he opened up That's to her guide again. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Too good. Too good. Dan loves this guy. JK loves him. What did you just... Oh, never mind. You're probably going to be going to beach. I was like, did you just leave that Dante in attack mode? <laughs> right? But no. Uh, pretty much the way it's going to go is uh, it's more of a round-robin tournament. So... Uh, each week you're gonna, well, every other week, because previously in season one, there was only eight people. I'm upping it to 16 people. So okay. that's why I'm trying to get more diligent, smaller Yugi tubers who want to promote their channel and, uh, partake. Okay. And, uh, pretty much the way that it's gonna go is you're gonna choose a tier one deck, a tier two deck, and then you're gonna pick your own tier three deck. And each week you're going to choose one of these decks to play your opponent, get points, and then it's gonna be like a bracket system. So you earn oh, points. Oh, yes. And, uh, you're gonna be separated into divisions. You're going to go into the playoffs, the championship. It's mm -hmm. going to take a while, but it's going to wow. actually be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah. if you want to participate, I was going to invite you, but uh, you're going to have to be playing a little bit of some meta decks, whether it be this format or last format. Like That's pretty much the theme for this season. So mm. I decide, uh, me and my co-hosts are going to decide the list, what cards you can play, what cards you can't, and it's pretty much going to be like the best decks of right now versus the best decks of the past. So. No, oh, wow. so you're gonna be you're gonna be able to play monarchs, cosmos, burning abyss, but then we're also bringing back like necros, Klee, Shadal, so mermills, yeah, and... mermills and stuff like that. Jeez, I yeah, gonna... actually, I uh, would be interested in joining this just for fun. Why not, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it's free, of course, it's free. Oh, there you go. But uh, yeah, that's, that's why it's a smaller tournament because I can only have sixty people. I was thinking about you know hosting a tournament like kind of like what Simo did to invite people, but then mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not big enough to promote that. Okay. And then Mega Capital G stole my money, so... No. Did you did you see that? No, I have not seen that. It no. was one of his streams. I wanted to oh, get yeah, his... Oh, yeah, I did see that. Yeah. You sent him a donation. He called you out on the donation, and then he says, Oh, my bad, I forgot about you, and we're going to have to duel another time. Yep, so he just yeah. kind of left me hanging there, like, oh, Oh, cool. my God. Yeah, I was, I was, <laughs> yeah, ah, 10 toes, dude. Yeah, I was like, all right, I was like, I'm gonna, I was pretty much been saving up all my YouTube money. I'm going to donate 30. He's going to add me to the stream. I'm going to get Poppy off of that. I could uh, maybe suggest that I be, like, his stream co-host. No, oh. he's going to get fucking Shatner to donate $31 and then cancel out my donation. So I get nothing. Ah, oh, that's out of control right there. <laughs> that's so, too bad, man. God dang. <laughs> I, I like, saw him on yesterday, too, and I was going to actually start recording, and uh, if he had joined a Shadow Duel, I was trying to get him to Shadow Duel me. Uh, he had mentioned it. I watched that stream you were talking about where he mentioned my name, um, and he was going to check out the videos and all that, so I was just like, okay, perfect timing. He knows who I am now, so I may as well go and see if he's uh, down to duel. Hmm. But then I was distracted by Hunter x Hunter, the anime in which I decided to go watch instead of playing on Dueling Network for the rest of the evening, which was at like 8 or 9. I need to watch that. Like, I, I wanted to get Jeez. into it, but I wanted to watch the dub and, of course, with Toonami and House once a week. Mm. So if I really wanted to get into it, I'd pretty much have to go to sub and then spam watch because I'm a spam watcher. Yeah, I'm a spam watcher myself, and uh, that's what I've been doing. I was on Netflix watching it, the first uh, four series, five series actually, uh, but cuts off halfway in the series of five. Went on to kissanime.com, start watching all the rest of it, and uh, so far I'm now onto season six. It's it's just freaking amazing. Well, the, that duel ended very quickly and abruptly. You know yes. what, I'm gonna, we're going to get one more in. All right. All right, we're back. <clears throat> all right, we are back. So we got 902. 1 0. I've never <laughs> seen that show, but. Uh, <laughs> 902. Uh, uh, he's at 1344, but oh my god, look at that experience. Wow! <laughs> this man's always on DN. He is constantly on, <laughs> nonstop. I don't think he sleeps at uh, that much. That's a lot of rating. Mm hmm. Well, we once again got uh, GK again at 1356 now, uh, winning with, uh, I'm assuming, PK Fire again. And that classic uh, Terra Top play. Terra Top is so good. Terra top, Taka Tom Borg. Just Terra top, Taka Borg. Uh, uh, no card, uh, not costing your normal summon, Dante, pretty much. 
You special much. summon, search, special summon, bam, that's Dante. And you didn't use your normal summon. Like Dante, Dante, you're getting you're getting ridiculous. We might have to hit you. Dude, honestly, <laughs> yeah, Dante should be hit at one. Mm -hmm. It it's honestly just getting out of control with the combos to make Dante. And uh I think this card here, the tech at boomerang and this terror top, those dudes, the speed roid in general. Like, I actually like that deck, the the original archetype of it. And yeah, then I like they... speed roids, but now you just kill these, you just go into freaking fusion yeah. shit. It's like boo. They milk the shit out of that deck. Um, yeah, because I like seeing Clear Wing and Crystal Clear Wing Dragons. Those guys are cool. Oh, Crystal Meth? effects are awesome. Yeah, Crystal Meth. <laughs> <laughs> crystal Meth Sync <and> Dragon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, pretty much it. Oh, my gosh. All right. But I don't see people playing it anymore with these these cards here on the field right now. Mm -mm. Uh, Tech boom and all that just, shit. Just the Terror Top and Takaton board make a Dante mill. Yeah, that's what they're using it for now is for Dante. And it's that it's, it used to be like, oh, don't hit Dante. That would hurt Burning Abyss. But now Dante's literally turning into like, all right, so wait, let me get this straight. It's a uh, extra deck um, card trooper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what he's turned into. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> mill. <laughs> mill, 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 mill. Yeah. So Even uh, Light Swarms can benefit from his mill. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, he just a versatile card all around for certain decks. But it, I like to see ridiculous. this build here, the uh, Super Quantum build with the Monarchs, although it's not the strongest of builds, but the, the Quantums themselves have such amazing uh, effects when they are used as XYZs. Mm -hmm. Although I have not seen people using Quantums as of late. I'm not too sure why they are. Uh, really I believe it's because their consistency got hit a little bit. Okay, that's why. Yeah, yeah I've not previous list kind of hurt their consistency to bust out the the Megazord, so Megazord, they're a little yeah. bit less consistent with it. But Man, it's... they should have kept it. Like Power Ranger deck, that's what I call them, the Power Rangers. They're mm -hmm. they're freaking awesome. I, I don't see them often, but they're awesome to watch. I actually played that on my channel, uh, the Super Quantum's, uh, a couple months ago, and then for the thumbnail, it was actually Power Rangers. <laughs> that's nice. <what> <laughs> yeah, that and um, um. The digital bugs now, they're they're pretty cool oh, to Digimon? see. Oh, Digimon? Yeah, the Digimon, yeah. <laughs> My friend's playing that, and he gets so mad that I called it a deck Digimon. I was like, how is it not Digimon? Like, you 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 go ahead and XC into your champion little slug, then you detach two, go into your ultimate butterfly, then you detach two and go into your mega rhinoceros beetle. Like, come on. He's like, it Done. doesn't look like a Digimon. I'm like, Kabuterimon <laughs> doesn't look like a Digimon. That looks like nightmare fuel for kids. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> Kabu Terry, mom. Yo, your uh, your mic or something is lagging out of the. I don't know if that's gonna happen in the stream or not, but I can't even hear you really that clearly anymore. Really? Yeah, you're like cutting out a lot. Hmm, it might be Skype. But again, I don't know if that's from my side or your side. It's probably Skype. Skype's a piece of crap. Yeah, I, really I have Discord, different. but I still need to get used to using it. <laughs> oh no, I can't hear you at all now. You're just breaking up. Hold on. Hold on. Is that better? So yeah, guys. No, I can't hear you. What the hell? Hold on. I'm going to call him back. Um, wow, another Dante on board. It looks like 902 is about to get wrecked. Yeah, yeah. But it's main just... phase two, actually, so never mind. He doesn't. He's not getting attacked this turn. But uh, if he doesn't put anything up on the board, uh, it's it's not looking good. Mm -hmm. God, he got the crap kicked out of him. Like, tried to and drop honestly... down Max. He took the nag and hasn't done much since. Exactly. <laughs> And it looks like uh, JK here is so comfortable playing right now against the Monarch. Uh, this is what, his second duel just now with Monarchs? The last one he was on Monarchs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's looking he's looking pretty comfortable playing against them. It doesn't seem like he has any problem. I mean, at least it's extra deck Monarch, so even if he has domain, he could still play, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Just 902 over here, he's just not getting anything. Like, I'm seeing you keep on summoning that Super Quantum Red layer, that's nice and all, but where are the Monarch plays? And if it's extra monitors, where the XC plays or the Synchro plays, if that's what you want to do. I, I've yeah, exactly. seen a couple of decks do that. But no, Skype is just being freaking garbage, so. Oh, okay. So he says, send one card from your deck to Gravy Grimms and destroy it. What does this guy, what does this guy do? Oh, he did send Beatrice out. Mm -hmm. okay. He was just chaining. So that's another thing about BA. They're monsters. Like it doesn't matter what you you can get rid of them, but they're gonna keep using their effects anyways at the end of it all. Yeah, just keep flying. And that's where they become like such a deadly force to face. Okay, I just disconnected. Oh wow. This guy. Yeah. No, I've got. Sorry, go ahead. No, I'm just saying. I think I think it might be my internet. 
Like, yeah, I'm, apparently I'm sounding distorted on Skype, because you sound fine to me for the video. Mm. You sound perfectly fine, so I think it might be on my end. I think my internet, something's wrong with my internet. I don't believe it's raining today. Like, what the fuck? Clear as day out here in Canada. Hey. <laughs> I know, this man is in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in Canada. In Toronto, guys, repping the 416. Toronto Raptors, all day. Hey, and maple syrup and all that good stuff. Maple syrup, you can't go wrong. And that beaver tail? Mm -mm. <laughs> and I don't mean actual beaver tail. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, do you mean beaver tail or do you mean beaver tail? <laughs> it's uh, in Canada. Actually, we don't have it in Toronto. Well, you may actually find a shop that sells it. But pretty much it's a, a dessert type of thing. Like a, It's breaded. It's a sugar bread. Uh, they call it beaver tail because it's like the length of a beaver tail. Uh, and it's got the same pattern as like the X's on it pretty much, like sliced on. And uh, it's sugar coated with like a bunch of sugar on it. And again, it's just a doughy bread. And you put, uh, I don't know if you could put maple syrup on it if, if that's what your thing is. Oh, that, of course that, it is. You probably have diabetes at the end of it all. <laughs> but yeah, that's the beaver tail in Canada. Only in Montreal it's famous for Quebec there. That sounds like something that Canadians would do. Like it just sounds like something they no. would do. <laughs> Oh, just God. you and your stereotypes. Yeah, See. but we don't live in igloos, so. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I got my stereotypes too, cause I live in Vegas. Oh, you live in Vegas? Wow. Yeah, I live in Vegas. <laughs> How can you live in Vegas? Like, it's such a, it's such a sin city. What do you do there for fun? Well, like, I, you must be I'm broke. 21. Uh, I, I don't gamble <laughs> though. I don't do any of that. I, I play Yu-Gi-Oh. That's what I do. <laughs> that's the thing, right? You live in Vegas, and they've got such uh, things there for people to do in entertainment-wise. But when you live live there, it's kind of like uh, I'm not even bothered to uh, to get out of my chair to go do this. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, f that. No, Vegas must be really fun. But uh, I've never been to Vegas. I would like to go one day. It's hot. It's hot for sure. Now, is it all around season hot? Is that how that works? Uh, mostly. Like our our winters are fine, but our summers are unbearable. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Like, uh, do you use Fahrenheit or do you use Celsius? Um, pretty we use Celsius if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so if you use Celsius, I I know how to convert this. Uh, pretty much it's like thirty seven Celsius. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. And it's not even That's summer strong. yet. <laughs> wow. But is it humid? That's the thing. No, it's, it's generally a dry heat. Like, I think I think today it's like 13% humidity. But then when it rains, okay. like, it rained, I think, on Saturday. And it was like, it was like 35 Celsius with rain. Oh, wow. <laughs> it, it was some hot rain. <laughs> That's nuts. Yeah, it's, Another it's hot Another part here. I don't like seeing people, like, I, I like using myself, but, like, in competitive mode, Curas, I, I don't think it's the best route to be playing uh, especially if it's just him himself that you're taking on the field because he hasn't he can't attack right He's yeah if he, use, if he uses the effect he can't attack i mean i guess it's nice to go ahead and pop some of the cards you don't need drawn to the deeper and i guess it's good with aether to spot pop during your opponent's turn uh yeah it is my internet i disconnected again what the fuck what the it's fuck? hard to hear you now God, I, I gotta get a different service provider so i can start streaming on uh on twitch better because right now my like I, I have the the computer like settings, everything's for it, but the internet it's just it still doesn't register it properly. After we're done recording this, I'm just gonna talk to my mom and be like, What the hell is wrong with our internet? Like we we have penis for goodness sake. I mean cocks. <laughs> <laughs> we have cocks, so what the hell is wrong with my internet right now? Like I'm I'm gonna yell at somebody. <laughs> this is annoying. Oh man, I remember I was with uh, Bell Internet, and I don't know if you guys have Bell over there, um, but they are really, really shitty for internet. I, I had dial-up one time. Oh no, first don't, 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 no, fucking dial-up. <laughs> yeah, one of the worst, of course, but then they had DSL, right, mm -hmm. which was kind of similar to dial-up in its own way, but quicker. And even DSL and their service, like I had at least three or four months free of internet service because of like one month of not having internet service that they're of course, you know, supposed to service you with, <laughs> but fucking internet sometimes. Yeah, I'm unfortunately using this internet though from where I'm at now, but I'll have to switch it up when I end up moving. I'll be moving very soon and everything will be back to fast paced internet except I won't have a computer see that's why I'm actually saving more money now even after I move back to my other place to uh, buy a desktop computer so I can continue my YouTube channel or else I'm screwed 
I have a desktop and I have a laptop, but I mostly use my desktop. I'm on my desktop now. Oh, you're on a laptop? No, I'm on a desktop. I don't like using my laptop. Oh, I, a desktop. I bought a laptop, but I just never use it. Yeah, it's 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 kind of hard to stream with laptop and get like the full potential for streaming um, with laptops, unless you have like a an Alienware laptop or something that's like really high tech. Yeah, uh, both my laptop and my desktop are uh, eight gigs of RAM quad core processors. Oh wow! Yeah, so they're both pretty strong. It's just my fucking internet right now. <laughs> like, now it's just the internet. <laughs> yeah, just like what the hell? Like I'm after we're done recording, I'm totally gonna call. Uh, we're talking about Karaz. Uh, like I said, it's good with Aether to summon to spot pop your, during your opponent's turn. But yeah. uh, my thing that I don't like about Karaz is that when you pop your opponent's monsters, uh, you break rule number one and rule number two of Yu-Gi-Oh. Which are? Rule number one, never let your opponent draw. Yeah. Rule number two, never let your opponent draw. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can agree with those two rules. <laughs> Oh my! And that's kind of like, um, like why do people run still run Upstart Goblin? It is such a bad card to run in any competitive deck now, especially because um, you're giving your opponents a thousand more life points. And if your deck doesn't have potential to OTK over a nine k uh, life point, then you know what are you doing? Stop using. I it. really haven't seen a lot of people run it at one. When I was at three, I mean. Then, you know, 37 card deck, I'm getting deeper into my deck and all that, but one, nothing's been hit down to one, I haven't even seen as much as late. I'm just yeah. wondering if people are actually going to do, like, Yosti, get crazy and play that potty cupidity. Mm, true. Oh, my God. I can't do it, though. I don't, I, I stopped running Upstop uh, Goblin uh, when it's when it got limited to one. Because right. I was using a couple decks that were kind of, they needed draw power, but then realizing the actual, like, uh, side effect of your opponent gaining a thousand life points and it, it's not worth it so I, I said you know may as well go with uh, what was that one card jar of greed or some shoot like that where it's like you have it in the field for two turns and then you place a counter on it then you send a grave and regret two cards that's a good one um what are the draw cards are good uh, I, I know a great draw card it's called uh, my internet's being crap right now and I keep on getting disconnected <laughs> You should play mm. three of that in your deck. Holy crap. <laughs> I didn't even pause that time. I'm just like, fuck it. I'll just fog back in. Like, seriously, my internet is just being garbage right now. And I, I just want to get this recording out, and I'm sorry I'm being so unprofessional when you're joining me for the first time. It's just like, god damn it. And, Do you think maybe, like, you have uh, some more apps that are open that may be causing it to be slowed down, possibly? Or? Not any more than I would usually have. It's just, mm. it's just going terrible today. Like, I don't know what the hell. Wow, it looks like 902 is come, making a comeback here. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he's pulled out a, uh, an either Eberus, a Rebus, <laughs> for an Aether to hands. Yep, with your, uh, with your I turn. I guess he's going to shuffle uh, the Phantom Knights of Breaksword. Yep. Yep. It's a smart play. He has nothing else on the field. May as well clear it and go for, uh, what is this, 48 damage. Yeah, he's almost got game. Unless he wants to banish some trap cards. Okay, and now my, 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 uh, just everything is about, this is terrible. This is, now my fucking uh, virus is like, uh, protection software is like, hey, oh. I need an update. And it just popped up right on the screen. Ah, uh, oh. so unprofessional. Oh, see what happened here? BA, they always have a, a way to come back. Yeah. This guy, he dropped his card in his special summon. How did he special summon that card? To his way? trap card. Oh. He can banish it to special summon a Phantonite monster, but when that Phantonite monster is removed from field, it's banished. Oh, that's right. That trap card. Yep, oh, PK Fire. That's so See? annoying. You you got to go through so freaking much just to kill them. Yeah, man. It's tug and war with BA. That's that's another thing right there. When their traps are not on the field helping their monsters, they're in the grave helping their monsters after the fact. Yeah. It's uh, definitely a tug and war game here, but uh, it's a good matchup right now. And I'm almost rooting for 902 just because uh, JK, he's just too good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got the, you got that the BA has win. that more consistent early game start, but then you got PK5 that has that more uh, consistent end game, so... I mean, it really doesn't matter. They're both going to be in the tournament, so. <laughs> I'm going to uh, BRB for about a couple of seconds. <laughs> You're the only done keeping this video fine. <laughs> All right, summon Calcab. He has no back row, so you might see some 
starting a best battle from the shenanigans in this duel. I mean, I mean, what do you expect when you freaking face against PK Fire Burning Abyss? The duels drag on. Uh, I've been disconnecting so much. I don't remember if this is game one or game two or game what, but uh, we'll probably just do this one duel because we're already getting to like a nice half an hour in this video. So yeah, we'll just keep it relatively short. We're not going to sit here for the whole match, but I just want to see the outcome of this duel. Like, I'm kind of wondering if GK will be able to uh, come back and take this. I mean, he's not locked out of his extra deck, so that's nice, but, uh, you know, look at extra deck marks. They always keep the resources. Always keep the resources. Uh, got plays for days, resources for days, and, you know, very, very strong deck. Like, I definitely say that. Uh, Cosmos and Monarchs are definitely up there as a top tier shit, and then you got, uh, you got, a. Uh, you know, Burning Abyss and PK Fire kind of under them, like right under them, but still under them. Alright, seeing the summon of uh, Aether during his opponent's turn by banishing a Monarch spell or trap, sending two to then summon uh, Karaz, and then I guess uh, Karaz will go ahead and pop that Levier so he doesn't get anything. Of course, never let your opponent draw, but I guess it's better than allowing him to do anything. He's going to pop his own return as well to draw a card. And, uh, despite being extra deck monarchs we, uh, from 902, I don't think we've really seen any extra deck plays. Like, I, I mean, I outside of, uh, I really, really, he hasn't done any extra deck plays, so really, right now, he could just play, but we haven't really seen any domain either. Like, why, what's the point of having the extra deck right now? You could have been locking him out of the extra deck and he's still been doing the exact same plays he's been doing. So it's nice that you cracked him at all, but, I mean, I'm assuming that GK is probably going to still have some plays for days. Uh, I believe that he normal summoned that Sir, so... Uh, Sir is going to go off, yep, summon, uh, the plays are still going to be there, so. I'm back on the mic. Alright, welcome back, and, uh, you haven't missed much, just. Oh, okay, it's, it's like he's got Aether on the field now, and he's got, uh, Karaz. Yep, Karaz, uh, popped his Levier that, uh, G that JK made, and, uh. Nice. But he still gets a Sir, like, the plays are still there. That's right. <laughs> Wow. Yep, these meta decks, sure, though. Watchers chat saying anything? No, we got a quiet audience for this game. But, uh, Just a bunch of uh, spectators. But yeah, it's a little bit of a spoiler to this uh, Season 2. So like I said, there's going to be uh, 16 people. You're going to be dueling someone every week where you uh, get to pick one of your three decks and uh, do your face your opponent, get points, uh, try to top in your division, make it to the playoffs. Uh... And so it's going to be pretty much, for at least tier 1, it's going to be uh, Pass Rush is present. And we got a couple of tier 2 decks. You choose your tier 3 and we'll adjust the, what you can play accordingly. But that's where you get your creativeness in. And uh, pretty much that's how it's going to go down. It's going to take a while to get it all done. But you're pretty much going to have to do like a match every other week. So it's not really too uh, requiring, you know. Just head up your opponent, do your match. We record it and we upload it on YouTube. Make sense? Yep, it makes sense. <laughs> Sounds like a fun time. So. Can't wait for this thing to start. It kind of reminds me of um, in the soccer league or in sports, you pick a few members of a team and then you get points if there that player scores or if he gets an assist. And yeah, it's pretty so. much that's pretty much the idea of it. It's supposed to be a Yu-Gi-Oh sports league. That's awesome. Yeah, that's uh, gonna be a really good idea. Season one did. I did, I'd say it did fairly successfully. I think I gained like a thousand subscribers off of just season one. So, yeah. All the big YouTubers uh, uploaded, guests uploaded the video onto their channel. And uh, it, it was actually spreading. Like, it actually became like the popular thing to do for a little while. Is to guest upload that video onto your channel. So, I would get people who have like like five subscribers uploading, guest uploading it to their channel. That's amazing. <laughs> but, uh... Now let me um let me just uh, cut you off real quick and let me end this call and call you back and see if anything changes. Okay, okay, yeah, maybe if you host the call. All right. All right. Well, hopefully it's better. But uh, no. Uh, so I guess go ahead and start thinking about which deck you want to choose. So I guess a little bit of spoiler for right now. Tier one is going to be Cosmos, Monarchs, PK Fire, and uh. Draco Pals. We're, we're actually bringing back Draco Pals. Ooh, fine. I think I'll be using the Draco Pals. And then the other half is Necros uh, with some of their cards back. I think I think we're giving them Shriot back. So, yeah, that should be fun. Uh, Cleese with Scout and all that. We're not... not no Towers, though. No Towers. <laughs> None of that sacky shit. Um, 
Burning Abyss. We're still debating on what to do with Burning Abyss and Shadal's at full power. Can you hear me? I hear you. Okay. Are you messing with your mic or something? I'm sorry? Are you, like, messing with your mic or something? No, no, I'm putting my mic on mute whenever you're talking so that you don't hear me chewing my food in the background. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so those are the tier one decks, so it's pretty much the past versus the present, and, you know, that should be interesting. But there's a, it's a more of a risk-reward system, so... Uh, it's a point system. If you usually, if you win with your tier one, you get one point. Win with your tier two, you get two points. Win with your tier three, you get three points. So, and it goes for what you face too. But uh, mostly, it's just you know you try to earn as much points as you possibly can uh, with the people in your division and try to make it to the playoffs. So, any deck, pardon me, any deck in any tier, they can face off on each other. Yeah. Uh, how we did it last last in season one uh, is you cannot use the deck that you used the previous week. So if you used your tier one, you know, this week, you can't use it next week. But, oh. we're, but we're changing it. Uh, since there's actually uh, 16 teams, you face 15 times with three decks. Pretty much, you have to use each deck five times. So it doesn't okay. matter what order you'd want to do it. And if you want to use all your tier ones in the first five weeks, more power to you. But you got to use each deck five times, which keeps it more varied. So you'll know who your opponent is. You know, like, for example, you'll be facing... Uh, your opponent, you know which three decks they have, and then you plan accordingly. You can change your side, and you'll be facing one of those three decks. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, and they're match games, right? Yeah, they're matches. Oh, okay, okay. They're matches. Man, that's gonna be very competitive, like uh, gaming. You're gonna like all the decks are gonna have all the competitive cards in it. It's gonna be quite interesting to see. Like I said I'll probably cut out in uh, at the list. Like I definitely know you're not gonna have like triple strike. Because I, I still don't know what that card's at three. <laughs> I wish I heard what you had just said. <laughs> oh, did I get cut off? Yeah, the mic again is giving issue. Oh, I'm sorry. I said we're not going to have triple strike because I don't know why that card is still at three. <laughs> oh, triple strike. Yup. <laughs> so, no. So, well, yeah. I said we'll, we're going to fix the list. Uh, we should be starting sometime this summer since summer is generally when more people are free. Because it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's not going to be a lot of tax in, you know, in taxing, but it's pretty much going to be like, hey, you need to get your match in every other week so uh, so I can upload the content. So uh, people will be more flexible during the summer, but, I'm, you know, I'm still going to be looking for a Wow. Hello. I like this one here. Uh, Lightning Vortex. Very, <laughs> very good tech card. You don't find that tech card being used often. Mm -mm, it's like we have, a, you have Greki. Why the hell would you play Lightning Vortex? You have Dark Hole. You don't even neg off of that. Well, I guess if you don't blow up your own monsters, but yeah, Lightning Vortex. <laughs> all right. It's like a Regeki, except discarding a card. That's about it. Mm. And they all have to be face-up monsters, so that's another out. But yeah, but it's not terrible in uh, BA. You know, they get their flex off of cost. Oh, yeah. So yeah, exactly. Look at this guy. He summoned the Dante Pilgrim. I've seen it all. Mm-hmm. Who does that? I haven't seen this guy in a while, actually. Not enough people run it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not be targeted by your opponent's card effects once per turn during either player's turn, which is always a freaking F. You can send one Burning Abyss card from your hand to the graveyard and draw one card. Oh, wow. Yep. Plus one. If this card is destroyed by battle instead of the graveyard, it is to control send the graveyard by opponent's card effect. You can a random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. Oh, my God. This card is out of control right now. Yep, and <laughs> you, can, you can summon it with, uh, with Beatrice. That's how he summoned it. Oh, wow. Yep. Just crazy right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's some craziness. So. Yeah, I I want to start using BA, but uh, it's just something I personally don't even like using. So it's like I don't even want to use it and build it. But I can see its potential is like amazing. But I just I can't put myself to using it. That's like all the other top tier decks are out there. I just don't see myself using it. I just can't find myself enjoying my game if I'm using it, because I know they're only good for wins. That's all they're good for. Those bastards. Please, I want this duel to end. I'm gonna put a bullet through my fucking head because this duel is taking forever. It's been going, eh? Back and forth, back and forth. Is this still guys. game one? Yeah, this is game one. <laughs> oh my god, no, we're not. We're not sitting here for the whole, whole match. It's, you know, this video, each video is already 37 minutes. Wow, this is, I told you, man, it's a tug and tug and war uh, type of uh, duel when you have face BAs. Plus, you have a, a good uh, matchup with them, like like monarchs. And you know what? Quick draw, synchro. What? What is this guy running? 
Uh, I, I've never seen that in a Monarch deck. Uh, yeah, I saw I saw Lithium do it. They start to play Quick Draw and Special Summon it, and then you use it for a tribute or do some Synchro plays, because they can. And uh, that's awesome. I disconnected again. So, my internet is just the butts today. So unprofessional. Like, I, I'm... So unprofessional. <laughs> I'm pretty much done with <laughs> this video. <laughs> like, I do not yep. know what the hell is going on, but... Uh, my internet, it's just being fucking booty. I kind of want this duel to what? just end. That way I can just... <laughs> no way out. No. People are messaging me. They want a shadow duel. Yep, they want a shadow duel. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. I you. got uh, Kratos Ninja messaging me. I've got uh, Ghost Boy. Ghost Boy? This guy, Ghost Boy, right? He is persistent. This guy wants his soul back. Like, every day I've dueled him, I've won. <laughs> and he wants his soul. Like, every day I see this guy's online, he's waiting to duel me. Him and this other guy named Centaurian, they are both determined to destroy me. Mm. <laughs> uh, that's the thing about Shadow Games, which I found quite uh, enjoyable about doing it, is that you face somebody, especially somebody like this one guy named Stevo58 yesterday. He's like, if I beat you, then you have to stop making Shadow Duels. I'm like, wow, <laughs> all right. I was just like... No, nah, man, I'm okay. I'm not going to go by those rules because, you know, that would just ruin my whole channel. I, mean, I wouldn't have anything. So I was just like, no, nah, I'm not going to even bother. And, <laughs> but we, I faced him anyways, and uh, he was so sure he was going to beat me. He, I, I forget what deck he was using, but it was a, it was a good, good matchup. And uh, I was using my, my Fluffles, I think. And I just came back out of nowhere. Like, I was, I was literally losing. And uh, I think I had, like, maybe three, 400 life points left. He must have had, like, 1,200 life points, something like this. And sure enough, I brought out my tiger, cleared his field. And uh, I brought my saber tooth out on top of that because I just had a combo in my, uh, my graveyard that I was able to get a couple more cards in my hand. And he was just on fire trying to destroy me. <laughs> I came back out of nowhere, wiped his field out, and killed him. And he was just all upset about it. He's like, damn it, I'm going to the Shadow Realm. I'm like, yep, you're banished, buddy. You're banished. But I'm pretty sure I'll see him today if I'm on a little bit later on. Like, that's what you see. Enough people are just constantly messaging me and saying, you know what? I'm winning my soul back today. I'm like, all right, come on. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Especially now with the League of Shadows that I got going on, my other ch uh, channel content I got going. Um, that one I've just recently introduced. I got a couple people just... Uh, that are part of the league and they're able to uh, face off with anybody else if whoever though is trying to join the league that's the only reason why these duels are even commencing against the League of Shadow members or for people to join the league and I'm only uh, gonna be getting people to join the league if they are skilled and uh, they can beat uh, all the members in the League of Shadows and though if the first duel you have with one of the league members uh, is like a really good duel then you don't even have to face anyone else. You can just literally join uh, the League of uh, League of Shadows. All right. So it, it's that easy. So if you viewers want to join the League of Shadows, go ahead and take the challenge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can all join the fun taking souls. <laughs> this is taking forever. Oh man, this is nuts. This uh, this guy's bringing out next level of monsters. Like I would have never guessed in a million years that a Pleiades would have been in this deck. Yeah, I mean, two primes. It's light. <laughs> yeah. But, well, I mean, it's not it's like you, different. It's not like you could have done anything to uh, to Dante anyway, since you can't be targeted. No. That pilgrim is too strong. <laughs> wow, like, and his effects are just amazing. Like, I don't know, like, have you seen, what was it, that, um, I'm sure you've seen, the the Thunderbird, I don't know what it's called, I forget, but it's on Raid Raptors. Yeah. That, that Thunderbird with 4,000 attack is, is crazy. <laughs> yeah, you should say light points. Unaffected. Oh, you unaffected mean Ultimate Falcon. Yeah, the ultimate, the guy is 4,000 unaffected by all card effects. You're just like, why is this card in the game? It's broken. It's because Konami wants to make cards like that. And you know what? I actually beat it one time. I was using my Fright for Fluffles. I had about four different Frighters on the field. My attacks were exceeding 4,000 at like, I think I had a 46,000 attack, a saber tooth on the field. And I destroyed it. And I was so happy that day. Because <laughs> it was like the first time I ever overran it. And I won that duel. But uh, man, it's one of those decks that you just can't beat if they bring out that ultimate falcon and you don't have a 4,000 4, plus beater. 
<sighs> it looks like game, but it's not game because he has Prime to block. It's so annoying. Mm -hmm. If he could just summon one more monster and just dish out just a little bit more damage, you're like, oh my god, please end this duel. Good chain, though, with Max Z. <laughs> Why not, right? Close one. So he'll take Probably that. also because he figures it's like about to end the duel, so he threw his Max Z out there on that turn. I mean, he might, as well, he might as well get something. And Monarchs don't normally have any special summons anyways. Well, this build does because he has no uh, domain. <laughs> but normally a Maxi would be just useless against this deck. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <sighs> I'm really probably going to end this video. <laughs> I'm getting sick and tired of seeing this duel. They would already be going into time. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> That's funny when uh, Lexi the Queen uh, duels and or is on stream and then she starts singing. I die all the time. I die. <laughs> it's too funny. And then you guys will be like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It makes up so much randomness. It's too funny. I like watching her streams. They're two jokes. I like how she, she fully admitted to saying that my channel is completely boring, the, the kind of content I have, which is totally fair because not everyone's going to enjoy what I'm putting out there. But I, I just couldn't stop laughing at it that she fully openly admitted that it was boring. I died. She doesn't care. No fucks given. <laughs> no fucks given. I like that. I like that. That's what it's about. If you give no fucks and you're open about it, I can respect you. All right. <laughs> that shit's too good. I remember, what was it? A week ago, I got banned, all right? Got banned from dueling because some administrator had seen in my profile a link to my YouTube channel, and that wasn't the purpose of it being there. Like, in my, every time I post the Shadow Duel, I always write, read profile, or rules are in the profile. That's why actually I, I reworded the, the words now. I actually have rules in profile, just for whatever random reason. And that alone apparently is advertising because the link, the first thing they see in the profile is my link to my YouTube channel. So they're like, oh, if you put the link on the very bottom of it, all the rules, then it wouldn't be taken as uh, advertising. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just taking the whole thing off. I'm just taking the whole link out. I'm not even trying. I think it. the only thing on mine is literally just my link to my YouTube channel. So if you ban me if you want to, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Like, and I even had an administrator come to me one time and it was so random and it had no grounds for it. He's just like, if you don't stop posting uh, your your thing in the description, like Shadow Duels, we're going to have to ban you. I was like, what? Like, I'm not even doing anything against this rules that we'd be consist considering advertising or, or any of that stuff that's in the rules. I think he was just out to get me for no reason, right? Because I was like, every day I'm on and I'm dueling with Shadow Duel descriptions there. And I think he just got upset at me or some like he, he was like I have a one kid right now who's on my Facebook group that I have for my channel and he is there every day posting stop posting shadow duels stop it just give it up <laughs> and I, I'm like but why and he's like I'm 10 years old and I still don't like them and I'm like that's not even a good argument and I'm like you're 10 years old on top of it what do you know <laughs> like stop talking but yeah it's always fun to watch people hate because then it means you're doing something right Right? Mm hmm. That's the way I look at it. Is this duel still happening? <laughs> yeah. This duel is still happening. No. And I'm already getting sick and tired of it. <laughs> Val Casaurus is a great card. I love this card. I wish I could make it more often. It, it's such a such a card to have when you're facing some people's uh, monsters that you just, you know what? I'm just going to burn you. I'm just going to burn you. So that's one card that's really awesome to burn people with, which are uh, was known to be ran in the, I don't know what that deck was called, but they had dinosaurs in them and Rescue Rabbit. And Dino Rabbit? Dino Rabbit, yeah, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dinosaurs really? and Rescue Rabbit, what was that deck called? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ah, summon that Virgil, because you can. Oh, there's a card you don't see every day, the the, the Gia, the Dragon, the Thunder Charger. Mm-hmm. This is Duel Lover. Uh-oh. He brought uh, Virgil out. It's a wrap. This Duel. They're both down to, like, barely any cards left in deck. <laughs> yeah, this is one, like, I told you, man, it's Tug and War. 
constantly tug and war with this. Mm hmm. Like, oh. And I've been in a match like this with my, uh, I think it was my Fright for Fluffles against a BA. And we were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I don't want any, either of you to die. It's done! Oh my god, it's done. <laughs> Okay. It's done, but there is another game. No, nope, no, nope, we're done. Imagine. We're done. We're done. This video yeah. is freaking 50 minutes long. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed those duels, guys. Yeah. The commentary. So, thank you, Mr. Neo Yugi Moto, for joining me. Thank you for having me. Yep. So, uh, Until next hopefully, guys. he'll change his mind, become a tag partner, but he'll probably join me on DN Bill Commentary. It's just fine. I could have someone else join me for tag. Uh, go to his channel, link in the description, and it looks like he might be uh, interested in joining the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tour Draft League Season 2. So, given that set up, I need to find a couple more people, but uh, yeah. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.